What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with a, I guess, quick news update. So Bandai just announced a brand new Dragon Ball Heroes game that is dropping internationally on April 5th on the Nintendo Switch and Steam, which is basically the PC. Now, two things. First of all, this game looks really, really dope. It's a card-based game. I don't really know exactly how it's going to work. We haven't seen a lot of gameplay yet, but it looks really good. And of course, I will be providing you guys content for this game on this channel once it officially releases or if a demo comes out or something like that. But the second thing for those of you who are, you know, Dokkan players who watch my channel for the Dokkan content is the fact that this pretty much confirms that the Dragon Ball Heroes banner and the Dragon Ball Heroes units will be releasing on global sometime in the near future. Because in the past, the only reason the Dragon Ball Heroes units weren't available for global as well was the fact that Dragon Ball Heroes was a JP, a Japan exclusive license, and that's why we couldn't bring it over to global, right? But now that we're getting this international release uh, of a Dragon Ball Heroes game, there's no reason why global players can't expect to see the Dragon Ball Heroes banner drop, you know, within the next couple of months. I don't know the exact timeline. I don't know if they're going to wait for the release of this game, maybe in April or uh, sometime later. I don't really know. Like, I have no idea what kind of timeline they have, but what I'm just trying to say is that for my global players, the ones that have been waiting for that Supreme Kai of Time or that Super Saiyan 3 Goku or that Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta from Dragon Ball Heroes or any of the other units, Tower of Darkness Toa, the AGL Toa. Yeah, I know a lot of people want her, so um, it's, it's really exciting. That's really, really exciting news. And for people who don't really know what the, what the units I'm talking about are or what the banner I'm talking about is, so this is the banner that JP got a couple months ago and I fully expect Global to get this exact same banner. As far as the units go, I know most people are very excited for this Supreme Kai of Time probably because she's a very good support unit. And also the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, as well as some other units. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know all of their names as far as the English names go, but um, they look dope and I really want them as well. And also there's the Tower of Darkness Toa. Uh, I believe there's another Mira as well. Um, I don't know, I don't remember the older Dragon Ball Heroes units, but maybe they'll be in the pool as well. Maybe we'll get the other banner first and then get this banner. Either way, what I'm trying to say is that the announcement of this new Dragon Ball Heroes game pretty much confirms that we are getting the Dragon Ball Heroes units on global. Like I said, I don't know what the timeline is. I don't know when we can expect it. All I know is that this is an opportunity for Bandai to make some more money from the global side and they know a lot of people on the global side want these units and will spend stones for them. I literally can't think of a single reason why we can't expect these units to drop on global now that this new Dragon Ball Heroes game is going to be released internationally. So that's all I got to say today, guys. Just a quick news update about the announcement of this new Dragon Ball Heroes game, as well as the fact that global will very, very likely be getting those Dragon Ball Heroes units that we've all been asking for for quite some time. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this whole situation, whether or not you're excited for this new Dragon Ball Heroes world mission game as well as whether or not you're excited about the fact that we are getting these Dragon Ball Heroes units very soon as well. But that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. I'm out of here. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.